So I'm going to begin by sectioning off kind of her little headband area um, right behind the ear. And then I will section off everything kind of above her occipital bone, which also happens to be... Then I've sectioned off further these two sections that are lower, still keeping this lower middle section and inner, kind of like combining that with the upper. And then I'll tie this off in a ponytail. Okay, and on my third loop or, you know, last loop, depending on the thickness of your hair, I will just pull a little bun through, not too much at all. And then I'm going to take the two lower sections. I'm going to fl like flip it through one another. Kind of tie it softly there. And then I'm going to take a French pin. And just let it hold right there for a second. Okay. And then I'm going to take the lower part of the ponytail. Kind of softly twist it and then tie another little half knotty knot, whatever you want to call it. Perfect. Okay, and then I'm gonna take, I'm gonna take my bobby pins and begin to pin it. A tip that I once received is to always pin where your thumb is, because that tends to be where you need more structure. Okay, now I'm gonna pull her crown out a little bit now that it's secured. Give her some nice volume. The best way to keep an updo from looking frizzy is to smooth it as you build it up. So don't just wait until the end and then spray it, but take a smoothing cream or a light hairspray along the way and touch up the little areas that need it. Now I'm going to incorporate the front two pieces that we left out and you can still leave some little front pieces like her little wispies out um, just to add that really effortless look. Um, but I'm just gonna simply twist these back and I'm gonna pin kind of in the crook of the twists so that it hides the pin. And depending on the length of your hair and your desired outcome, you can leave the little ends out. I think that's what I'm gonna do with Josie today, but let's wait and see how it looks. 